Hello and welcome to another episode of Design and Style. I am your host, Dixie, with Dixie Willard Design. And of course, with me as always is the lovely Rachel. I can't leave that out. <laughs> Rachel Moriarty with Rachel Moriarty Interiors. Together we are your fabulous co-hosts for this journey <laughs> or something like that. I don't You're know. You're channeling totally... some medieval I know. I've got stuff today. You've it's been saying fun. some like, yeah, mm -hmm. some old school, like back in the 1700s sort of stuff. I, I may have even gone back <laughs> a little further Is that even the medieval? That. What is the medieval? medieval. <laughs> I, think, I think I may be in the 1300s. Oh, the 1300s. Okay, good. Thanks. So today, and I'm just looking over here at my little list because I don't want to mess this up. Today, we wanted to talk about, um, last week, I took some forced time off. I wasn't planning to take some time off, but uh, my lovely allergies popped their ugly head up. And uh, so I had to take a few days off. And when you're not doing much of anything, you have a lot of time to think. And one of the things that I've been planning to think about do you do that? Do you plan to think about things? I plan to think. It, that is so sad. That I think about thinking about things. Yeah. So one of the things I had been thinking about thinking about was I came across this, I think it was a meme on Instagram or something. I don't, I apologize. Whoever, if, if you recognize this as yours, please let me know and I'll give you credit. But it was find three hobbies that you love. One to make you money, one to keep you in shape, and one to be creative. So those are the three three things that it suggested. And I thought, well, I love my job and I do that to get money, which is kind of boring. Um, and what should I do for the other thing? So I was like, I need to find a hobby because I don't know about you when you're pouring all of your creative juices into your business, it starts to get a little stale. Sometimes you need something else to, to kind of zhuzh it up or something. <laughs> Well, I'm super happy you're bringing this up because this used to be my creative outlet. So I'm coming up May 1st. It's going to be my two year quitiversary from the bank. And when I was a banker decorating and doing decorating projects for others, side hustling basically was my creative outlet. And then I jumped into it and just, you know, just totally into it, figuring everything out. Um, and I never thought of doing another, like I never, I, I never thought that I needed a, another creative habit, but I totally, like I'm recognizing that I do now. Right. And you know what was fun? You know what made me originally start thinking about thinking about thinking about it? <laughs> <laughs> what? I had to fill out a bio and it asked, what are your hobbies? And I was like, my hobby is my business. It's not a oh, hobby business. Oh my gosh. Like I, I, the thing that I love to do the most is what I do for my business. So I don't have any hobbies and I got to thinking maybe I should, because I'm not feeling like I'm balanced. I need, I need to make things a little bit more balanced and I have just been craving what, okay. Another secret habit I have hobby I have is studying things that have to do with design or construction or business. I love you can't really list that as a hobby. So when I came across, it doesn't make you sound very interesting. No, it <laughs> like if that came, if I was like, huh, list your hobbies and you were like reading construction right. manuals, I'd yeah. be like, no, studying economics and business. Nope. That's not fun this at all. This girl is not for me. I am not going to do a podcast with this girl. <laughs> I didn't want you in on that. Good thing I didn't interview you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, okay. I was kind of unbalanced, a little one-sided and finding this, this suggestion about three different hobbies. I love was it. Perfect for me. It's at the perfect time for me too. Perfect. So I'm going to go through mine real quick. Yes. Um, well, let's, let's go through each one and then. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one, find a hobby that you love that makes you money. Well, okay, this one is going to be, I love to study things. I love, um, I do, I love, I love listening to business news. I love paying attention to economics. I love finding out more about construction methods. I do the architect and contractor continuing education things. 
I do those, not just the interior design stuff. I do the other ones too. Not because I have to, because I'm such a geek and I love it. <laughs> and one, the other thing I was thinking about doing was going and getting my, um, taking the general contractor exam. And it occurred to me last week, I can make this a hobby. I don't have to make it a task. Right. It's just a hobby. I can study for the contractor's exam. I don't have to actually take it unless I decide later that I want to. I could get one of those books for if I had insomnia. I'm sure that would put me to sleep in like a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is I got so excited about getting, I, I bought a sleep. couple of codes books and I <laughs> thought about you at the time. I was like, oh, Rachel would not want these. Remember that time I started talking about it and I bored myself. I just said, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't have to be that way, but a hobby that you can enjoy, enjoy, actually enjoy outside of work mm -hmm. that makes you a better person at work and helps you to earn money that way. So I did monetize one of my hobbies and you know, I have been a thrifter mm -hmm. since I was 12 years old. And, um, my husband and I, it's actually a family thing that we do. It's on the weekends. Um, we, you know, we both get, e uh, emails from estatesales.net and we'll look at the, you know, it gives you all these pictures and we can kind of like, uh, map out some of the estate sales. India's already in a state. Etienne's like, you know, he's 16. So it's <laughs> like, Etienne's not really into anything, uh, right. but his sports and his girlfriend. So, uh, but India is already a hunter. And so she, and then luckily my husband is, he's a collector and I've been collecting. And so we do that as a family. And then what I did is I actually, I have a best friend that, that loves to do it too. And she and I started doing pop-up shops. So I was able to not, you know, cause I was like going around and I would find things and I'd like pop on stuff. And I'm, you know, I have a small house and it is a curation. It does change a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's only so much, you know, and then usually if I'm changing one thing, it just like, it's, it's a, you know, it's just this like huge it's cycle. Domino, okay. so, yeah. So I was like, well, what if I, you know, cause I'm getting these things for at estate sales. If we go on the last day of an estate sale mm -hmm. they're you know, sometimes they're just like, get, take it. Like they don't even whatever, right. you know, but it was starting to kind of pile up and I had um, opened an Etsy shop and was starting to sell on there, but it, it that wasn't a good fit for me. I just don't like the shipping aspect of it. Yeah. You know, I love photographing it because I love mm -hmm. photographing, but um, actually like, anyway, that wasn't for me, but the <laughs> pop-up shops are a couple times a year, a year, and it's a way for me to sell my stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and I can still go out and enjoy my hobby, I love which is it. flea marketing, estate sales, mm -hmm. and thrift stores. Plus, you have all the best stuff when it comes to redesigning people's homes. You know where to get it. So that's, yeah. it's, it actually helps. It it's, makes money and it helps your business. It's a great resource. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then you get to meet people, like the people that run the estate sales. So yes. you're like, that's, that's sweet. And you go to enough of them, I'm sure you get some friendships going and they give you all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Or all the heads little, up. Little heads up. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So okay. that was the first one. That was the first one. So the second one is find a hobby you love that keeps you in shape. Which I need to do that. Some form of exercise. I know people who run. It's funny. Facebook thinks I, I must run because there's stuff on my feed all the time about running. But like they're advertising to me about runner stuff. Really? It's, it's bizarre. But I know a lot of runners. And they love it. I'm. Um, I'm not a runner. I've never been a runner. I no, no. The only time I remember really spending much time running at all was I went through this phase when I was like in fourth grade and I would chase the boys and try and kiss them. But mm. other than that, I've never really been a runner. <laughs> That's some motivation right there. Well, yeah, but, but there are all kinds of, I mean, it may be swimming, it could be hiking, it could be sex, it can be whatever it is that you need, 
you know, something that's good for you and it keeps you in a little bit of exercise, something that's fun, gets those endorphins pumping. Mm-hmm. What is it, right? Endorphins? That doesn't sound right all of a sudden. I think it is. Okay. We'll go with that. Well, I have my, you know, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I call my sacred struts, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's really, um, my, for me, it's like almost a movement meditation, but, uh, I just, I, I do have to walk daily and I'm in San Diego, so it's easy. I know, but I keep shoes in my car because sometimes I'm just out and, there's just places that I'm like, I need to get out right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the beach, of course, um, we have beautiful parks and architecture. So, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's the time a lot when I drop my daughter off, she's just a couple houses down. Um, and then I will intentionally walk just to kind of change my mindset Mm -hmm. because you know how it is before you remember when you had young kids in your house, you know, it's like, get the lunch ready, get dressed. Did you brush your teeth, brush your hair? You know, well, your shoes are untied. You know what I mean? And it's like, you have the permission slip. (laughs) It's yeah, 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 yeah. It is. I mean, I get there today and it's like, Oh, sign this. And you know, Uh it's that energy. And then I need something in between that energy and to come back home Mm-hmm. my home office to create yeah, and do business, which is a lot of writing. It's a lot of, you know, even if it's not a project, it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's still a lot of creation. So um, that's my sacred strut. I've been doing it for years, but that I need to like step up the cardio a little bit, <laughs> do something a little. So that's, that's great. I mean, this is a great, great topic. I'm so happy. Well, and I know when I lived in Hawaii, I don't know how many people would just always have a swimsuit in their car. And if they had time, they'd hit the beach. That's awesome. You know, if, if I knew designers who, if they were on a job and the installation was going slow and the contractors went to lunch, they'd grab their surfboard and go out to the beach. So nice. And surf. Doesn't always work for everywhere you live, but there's, there's gotta be some sort of something like that is always yeah. a good thing. Um, the yeah, Pacific ocean. Yeah. The Pacific ocean on San Diego is hella cold. <laughs> That's why we got lots of sharks. <laughs> maybe, maybe not so much on the there, but sacred struts work. Sacred struts. Yes. So that's a great one. Mm -hmm. Something to keep you in shape. So that's number two. And number three is something that makes you be creative. And I have decided that I'm finally going to just, I'm going to stop procrastinating on something that I love to do. I love to paint. I had no idea. Most people don't. (laughs) I love to paint. And I'm not saying I'm a fabulous painter. I just enjoy the process of it, but I don't do it. I don't know why. I just don't. So I've decided that I'm going to start taking purposeful time every week to paint. I have. What do you paint? I'm just curious. What do you paint? Now Um, now I have to ask. (laughs) Usually it's just nature stuff, flowers, trees, that sort of thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I have this landscape that I saw, I came across the other day that I'm just so excited to do. It's um, a black and white, like there's a big yellow and orange moon, full moon rising. And then there are trees over the front of it, black trees. So they're, cool. they have you know, highlights in white. So it's a black and white. And I don't know how many people have seen my, can you see it over I here? I've never seen it. Mm -mm. So I have this painting, you can see the box that I have to take back, but I have this painting, it's black and white and orange, and it's got kind of that vibe to it. If you are listening on iTunes or SoundCloud, you cannot see the painting, so you need to head over to To YouTube. YouTube. (laughs) (laughs) And I'll I'll try and remember to post a picture of it in the notes. Oh, that's a good idea. So that we can see it. But yeah, it's just this, it's just, I love impressionist paintings. Um, and it's so easy to do. 
Mm-hmm. There's no right or wrong. And you know what? Nobody ever has to see it. If I don't like it, I just. Exactly. It. It's exactly. Lean over it. You. And I bet it's like very like, talk about my sacred strats. It's, I bet it's like movement meditation in a way mm-hmm. as well. Oh yeah. Because you know? you're, you're not focused on all of the everyday crap. It's just creating and doing something that's calm and your mind can just wander. I'm, like, I'm just like literally like visualizing it and I'm just relaxing right now. <laughs> that sounds so nice. Yeah. I need to figure out what my creative is now. Mm-hmm. You know, I, and it's funny because I've got, I've had so many different things. I, I do so many different things. Um, but they don't give me as much pleasure as they once did. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like I used to make cards when I had a, I had a, you know, brick and mortar store. I used to like sell handmade cards that I would make. I would sew stuff. I would, you know, I I can do like all that stuff, but it Mm -hmm. doesn't give me pleasure anymore. Not that it like makes, you know, it's just not something I would do for. Well, and I think that there are a lot of people who, if they've done something that they've turned into a business, it does kind of take out that yes. extra joy yes. to get out of doing it. So Yes, which is kind of, I was going to say, even like the painting of vintage furnishings right. and stuff like that. Because, you know, sometimes I, I do monetize that if I'm selling it at mm-hmm. a pop-up, pop up or whatever. So it's not just a purely creative thing for me anymore. And what's funny is I kept thinking, I need to find a hobby and I knew I loved painting, but I never put the two together. It's like, hey, I can do this as a hobby until the you other day. I forgot about though. I, oh, totally, I love the look on your face right now. Well, I know. I'm just picturing like I'm so mad at myself right now. I do love adult coloring. When that came out, mm-hmm. I already had all the, like, I already have everything, you know, and I don't do it. I don't set the time Mm -hmm. aside to do it. And I have tons of like, oh, not tons. I have like five, um, but really nice adult coloring. I never take them out. I never use them, Mm -hmm. but you know, that would be a start. Like I can just get out because I remember I did this one. I worked with this one coach where it was like we doodled. Yeah. And I couldn't believe how freeing doodling was, but it didn't stick. It wasn't something that stuck. Like I loved the prompts that week and it was like, it was so freeing. And I just thought this is amazing, but it just didn't stick with me. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And so Mm -hmm. Um, but that's given me an idea to, I should doodle some more too. Have you doodled? I doodle. Do you doodle, doodle like during a way to focus when I'm listening to, um, whether it's like a, a webinar or the, yes, <laughs> a course, or, I, that's when I do most of my doodling is okay, yeah. trying that's to keep my mind because my mind wanders. Otherwise, if I don't have yeah. something physical to do, yeah while I'm listening, it, it doesn't sink in. So that's, that's when I doodle and I love it. I do it all the time. Yeah. Cause I study all the time. <laughs> I'm always taking a course of some sort. I know me too. Um, what else, what else could we, what other creative things could designers do? Any other ideas? Painting. See, mm-hmm. there's so much that we do as solos that you know, right? Because, uh-huh. like, if you're a writer, well, we're, we're we write blogs, right. we write content, we write courses, we write. There's so much that we're writing. Um, so I feel like that isn't unless somebody's a fiction writer, like that's their thing, yeah. or a kids book writer, or something mm-hmm. like that. Then it would be like a purely creative endeavor. But and I think that's I'm like scratching my chin for anybody that's yeah. listening to me on iTunes. This is what I do when I think. I She's literally hard. I literally like rub my stroke my beard that doesn't exist <laughs> like the evil I'm like <laughs> what are we gonna do today pinky hmm. or brain we're going to take over the world <laughs> hmm. any 
anyway. <laughs> so that actually just got me. Okay. But let's just, before we wrap this up, yes. the reason we are even talking about this is because Dixie had three days down mm -hmm. from allergies. It was unintended, mm -hmm. but she saw this. She took action on it. She impl you've implemented this into mm -hmm. your life. And let's talk about the effects it's already had. Already. I mean, like as soon as everything clicked into place, it was, it's, that's, that's actually the best way to describe it. It's like, you're, you're just kind of scooching it along and finally it clicks and it grabs. And we had talked a while back about that kind of a, almost like a spinning your wheels kind of feeling like, you know, what direction you want to go in, but you don't really know. Something's not quite right. But you, you just keep out. taking that like yeah. one step yeah. ahead of the other, but you're like, not, mm -hmm. not it's clarity. It's clarity. It's exactly right. Yeah. So everything suddenly came into focus and it's funny because it wasn't just about my hobbies. I got mm -hmm. clarity on the branding because I've yeah. been working on kind of tweaking, not changing yeah. it up completely, but yeah. tweaking my branding. Yeah. Um, and exactly what direction I wanted my business Services. to go. Mm -hmm. And it was like, as soon as the hobbies and the creative and the fun stuff clicked into place and, and the break, I'm going to be honest, taking a break, mm -hmm. we forget that we do need a break. And it's a mental break because we are like, I know in my life, everything can be content. Yeah. And I put out so much content that I never stop. Oh, I could do a live stream about that. Right. Oh, I got to write, put that in the Google mm -hmm. doc and I can talk about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll do a blog post about that. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's just like my mind is constantly thinking in that way, mm -hmm. you know? So it's almost like you went off and had a vacation somewhere. Yeah, exactly. you know? I mean, it kind of was, I slept a lot. I didn't do much. <laughs> And it, it, I'm not going to say that the allergy part of it was fun, but just, just having that sense of that's it. I know what I need to do it was totally worth it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to run out and kiss a tree full of pollen anytime soon, just so I can get it again. But, but you know what? It's almost like our bodies know. Yeah. They, you I know, sometimes they will take you down just to like make you. Mm -hmm. You know, not in a, not in a like evil hand, you know, no, just not away, at all, but, but like, yeah, you need the break and it's going to make you take it. Yeah. You're not taking it. Mm -hmm. and it could be almost the seed of an intention where you're, like you said, you were like thinking, I need time to think. I need time to mm -hmm. think. I, I'm getting ready to think. Right. I'm, you know, and suddenly I had tons of time. To exactly. Think. Exactly. So I feel like sometimes that little intention. Mm hmm that was kind of playing in the back of your head. will do that as well. So, but that's great. I, you have took a hiatus now and, and it really is approaching. I mean, we are designing a life. We are not just designing homes for others. Right. We're designing, we are, we're the architects of really, we are so blessed. If you think about it, we are the architects of our lives because we mm -hmm. are not working in corporate. We can design a business exactly for our needs, right. your business and my business, even though we're both in the same industry and solopreneurs mm -hmm. look completely, completely different, different, completely, which is the whole purpose of this podcast, you know? So in order for us to be, you know, that architect, we need that Rest. we need our that brain rest yeah. and you need sleep that's when yeah. you know athletes they you know their muscles grow in the rest mm -hmm. you know it's in the recovery and so it's like our brains are constantly going but we're not giving it the recovery time yeah i think that's that's, that's fab. probably just the perfect description of it right there yeah so so let's just stop the we're going to start hobby, people <laughs> So one that earns you money, one that keeps you in shape, and one just purely creative. Absolutely. And I'm going to be following up in the group. If you are not in our Facebook um, design and style Facebook mm -hmm. group, please hop in there. I'd love to continue the conversation. I'm going to explore for myself because I know, I feel like I'm, there's something there that I'm missing. Like it's just not coming to me right now and it's going to come, it's going to come yeah. as soon as like we stop recording. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So if you want to find that Facebook group, it is at facebook.com slash groups slash design and style podcast. Yes. And just in case you need the show notes because you want to see that gorgeous picture of mine, um, <laughs> you need to head on over to designandstyle.club. It is not .com. It is designandstyle.club because we want you to join the club. Absolutely. And then please, if you could go on to iTunes and leave us a review, a five-star review with a little love note. We have been receiving them and we read them this morning and oh my gosh, we so appreciate it. Absolutely. And that'll help other solos, side hustlers, and newbies find our podcast. Thanks guys. Have a good Bye. day.